begin tonight with Michigan's historic election, which was full of firsts, including yeah. a possible record breaking voter turnout for our state. Yeah, and not only that, but John James is expected to become the first black Republican to represent Michigan in Congress. And Sri Tenadar is slated to become the first Indian American in Michigan to be elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. We'll have more on them in a moment. For the first time in decades, Democrats are expected to take full control of the Michigan legislature. That's huge because Democrats haven't controlled the state Senate since 1984. This shift in power in Lansing is expected to have a major impact on everything from gun control to infrastructure and unions, including the state's right to work law. But the biggest impact is expected to happen in public education. Schools should see an increase in teacher pay and classroom funding. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has more on how the shift in power will impact public education. To put this election into perspective, let's talk about Diet Coke. It's been around long enough to be an iconic beverage, and it first hit store shelves back in 1982. That's also the last time that voters elected Democrats to control both the legislature and the governor's office in Michigan. And leaders in our state say expect changes that impact children. It's going to be a, a game changer, whole new game. State Senator Dana Polhanke says while working as a teacher for almost 20 years, she felt the state didn't support or compensate teachers sufficiently. She ran for office because she wanted to change that. A dream that I have and have had for a very long time is to increase teacher pay and pay teachers what they deserve. And because we flipped the Michigan Senate, the Michigan House and held on to Governor Whitmer, we are teed up to do that. She says this election is a rejection of Betsy DeVos's effort to support Republican lawmakers who want to offer taxpayer funded vouchers for private and religious education, which she says would leave public schools underfunded. Some Republican voters voiced disappointment. If the dollars follow the, the child, then uh, the public schools will get their act together. They are um, talking about things that we don't like. This mom of six says she would love to have vouchers help her transfer her children from public to religious school. And I started to cry like it's it was very important to me. This mom says she cried with joy when she realized Democrats won control and public education policy is a big reason. Her daughter is in an early education program to help with speech and she believes that Democrats will invest more in support. She currently is delayed with talking. Um, she is three years old, so right now we're just trying to get the words out, we're trying, and they're coming. You know, school's only been in session since September, and we're getting there, so. <laughs> there we go, I hear verbalization right there. <laughs> yes. There's not a money problem with the schools. State Senator Jim Runstad, a Republican from White Lake, said lawmakers provided equitable funding last budget. What policies were you trying to get passed that you're now concerned are just going to have to be on hold? I was really hoping we could get some tax relief uh, to the uh, people here in the state of Michigan. And uh, my experience with the, the Democrats, when they're in the majority, it's spend, 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 spend. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.